Hi, this is Amy, and today I want to show you how to schedule a Google Hangout as an event. So first of all, you're going to need to get to Google Hangouts, and I get to mine right through here. So I just go to my email account, the one I want to use for the Hangout, and I just click my name up here in the top left. So when you do that, you'll be taken to Google+, and you'll see your home button over here on the left. And instead of going to Hangouts on Air or Hangouts, which is now up here in the top right, we're going to go to Events and we're going to schedule this Hangout in advance through Events. So let's do Plan a Hangout and then we can select a theme up here at the top. So you can pick whatever you want, whatever you think goes with your event. And if you decide you don't like any of those, you can go to Change Theme and you can upload your own picture. Since this event I'm planning is a planning session for the Texas Google Summit, I'm going to use this nice picture from our last summit. So I'll click Set as Theme and then we'll see that image appear at the top of our event that we're planning. All right, there we go. So we're going to schedule this for Saturday the 25th. Um, our time is going to be at 11 a.m. Um, I love this because I don't have to try to figure out time zones. So if I invite people to it, it will change this so that in my time zone it will show up as 11 a.m. and it will show as whatever that actually is in their time zone. So this is going to be a Google Plus Hangout. This event will be online. It knows that already because of the option we selected to begin with. And then I'm going to put our details of our event right down here. All right, so there are some details about our event. And now I want to invite the people who need to attend. So I'm just going to start typing in some names. And here's one right here. And so I'm just going to select from the list as that person shows up. So there's Christy. I'll select her and I'll just repeat that process until everyone I want to invite is there. Or else I can just invite a few of the people who I want to attend and then let other people who I've invited invite the rest of the people who should attend. Now I've also added a circle here because I wanted you to see what that looks like. If you already have the people you want to invite in a circle, then you can just type the name of the circle and it's much easier to add those people in all at one time. So now we've got our event planned and we can go ahead and invite the people who we've added to our Hangout and then we'll go back and look at it and see how it looks. Oops, I've got to put a title up here too. So let's notice the event options. I've got mine set to basic. This works for my needs. Guests can invite other people. Guests can add photos. And I can go to advanced. And if I want to change this to another type of meeting, I can, I can change it right up here. All right, so let's go ahead and invite. And then I'll show you how to get back to this event later on to start the Hangout. So let's pretend now that we've just gone back to Google Plus and it's time for us to start the Hangout or to enter this event. So instead of going to Hangouts again, we're going to go to our Events section and we'll find the event that we want to attend. So here's the new event that we just made and you can see we have another Hangout planned right here. Let's pretend that this one is going to start right now. So I'll go into the event and I'll scroll down a little bit and if it's time to start this event, then I'll click on the Google Plus Hangout link right here. This is the permanent link associated with this event. So anybody who is able to go into this event, anyone who's been invited, can click that link and we'll all be in the same Hangout. So I hope that that gets you started with using Google Plus Hangout events to plan your future Hangouts. It works really well and is such a convenient technique. Hope that helps. Have a great day.